Hi, this is Darren from Ail Upholstery and Interiors. Today I'm gonna show you how to upholster a panel headboard. So this is my board. I made it 93 inch and three quarters side to side by 16 and a half top to bottom. So this is a king size headboard that I'm making. This is a board that I'm using. It's 5 eighths of an inch. I'll be using one inch soft foam for this. So I'm putting it flush with the wood right now, so it's even, and then when I use the fiber, it's going to come over. So I'll be using my foam cutter here, it's called a Bosch 1575A. Now I'll be using a thick layer of fiber. I'm pretty much making it stick out two inches away from the foam all around. This is how it looks from behind. Made it stick two inch or all around the same way. The material I'll be using is microfiber. So because the material width was 57 inches, I was able to make three panels of, of it. So because the material is already small as is, there's not enough room to upholster it and pull it. You want to lock everything first before you staple it down. So this is how it looks like when I'm done locking it all. So the reason why I always staple everything like this in an angle, if you can see it, is so when I take it off, I can just use a plier, it's quicker, instead of stapling it really deep and then using a regular to take it out. This one saves my time faster. When you do staple it, you want to try looking at the line and giving the estimation all across evenly instead of going up and down, up and down, or else the front you'll see it go bumpy.
gonna try to line the material straight and then we're gonna staple it. Lock it again. You wanna be able to pull outwards and this way we pull outwards so then it'll be clean, it won't be as bumpy. This is how the edge looks. Very clean and smooth, see? Now I'm just gonna use black lining to cover the back. So now I'm going to use another plywood to join the two pieces together. Now that I'm done it, I'll be using a French cleat style like this to, um, to screw to the back of the headboard and then the smaller one will go to the drywall. Screwing in this way down and for the drywall part, I'll be putting the opposite like this, going down like this. So that's how it looks when I'm all done it. So thanks for watching and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.